Alright. Holy shit was in middle school. Hey, holy shit was the show. Oh, the show. Alright, your next word is bass. Bass? Yeah, bass. Punching on that boom, 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 boom,
You okay. did go to two different schools, but you graduated from UMKC. Go Roos. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> um, what did you major in? I, yeah, I, I think our mascot is weird. It is. It's very You know Walt Disney you. drew it? Walt Disney drew the very first mascot. Really? The yeah. School of Education on UMKC grounds used to be an elementary school. And that's where Walt Disney okay. was. So what's your major? What do you major in? I majored in mass communication, broadcast journalism, media. Okay. Uh -huh. uh -huh. It's so long to say. Uh -huh. So yeah. So it kind of lines up with what I'm doing right now. Mm -hmm. um, I don't, my full-time job is not that, but I'm definitely creating my own lane. And so that's what I'm doing. Right. Creating your own lane with your major. Yeah. That's what you wanted to do. Did you, did you go to school with the intention of doing that? Or did it change? You know what? I, honestly, I was that college student that didn't know what the heck they wanted to do. Yeah. Like, I, I could do so much. Yeah. And I tried to put myself in a box. Because some people, they're like, oh, I'm going to school to be a nurse. Or a doctor. Yeah. Or a lawyer. I was like, well, I can, I can do a lot of things. So what? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do. So I decided to create my own lane and just... You know, create Kimbo Productions, the you know video production company. You know, just to kind of be the umbrella of all the creative things that I do, and and still collaborate with the millions. Well, I won't say millions. We have millions of people here in Kansas City, but the <laughs> the people here in Kansas City that are so talented. We have so yes. many amazing, gifted and talented singers, yes. poets, creators, and I wanted to just create something to where I could, you know, collaborate with them and just really show like Kansas City. We're not to be slept on, honestly. Yeah, so. and a lot of people sleep on this. We don't. Yeah, yeah. 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 But we need each other. Like, that's the thing that we miss. Like, we need each other. We don't have to move away to be great. We don't have to move away, to, you know. I feel like we can do it here if we could just have that mentality of just we need each other to survive. And yeah. what better way than to collaborate? So. Exactly. Man, collaborate through the arts. They and start with the arts and then they grow from there. Come on, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. would you give to someone like a younger person who wants to go to college like what what should they where should they start i would say first make the decision if you really want to go to college yeah. and i'm not saying that college isn't useful but mm -hmm. nowadays i mean times have changed so much so yeah. we don't you don't have to go to college i'm always uh, you know an advocate for educating yourself yeah. but listen to yourself trust yourself whatever you want to do do it there's no limit there's no boundaries just be fearless. Just do it. I know for, for a long time, I was always stuck into, well, I got to go to college. I got to be this. My, my stepmom, she's a, uh, an anchor on 41 News. So I'm oh, like, well, maybe God. I need to do the news. Maybe. But don't put yourself in a box. There's yeah. no limits to what you can do. So just really trust yourself. Decide if you want to go to college. If you don't, it's okay. But just really just find your niche mm -hmm. and know that it's a process it's not it is not a race it is a marathon yeah so, right it's so it's not traditional life. nowadays it's, it's like not. really just do what you feel like yeah. god has called you to do. whatever it is whatever you wake up feeling like oh my god i have to do it and it's like this burning adrenaline feeling rush just to do, do that just do it so my third question or topic i want to talk about i do want to talk about polygamy and monogamy all right. Um, <laughs> it's a very hot topic nowadays, you know, yeah. like monogamy and also polygamy. I keep seeing people that are couples that's like threes or fours. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Yeah. No, ma'am. No, ma no, ma I can't okay. do that, cousin. I can't, I can't do, do that. Well. So, okay, so I, I guess you just told me how you feel about uh, polygamy. Oh, we don't like share. We, we yeah. don't share. I mean, I would share my macaroni with you, <laughs> but as far as like a man, no, I'm I no, I'm a one man woman, mm -hmm. um, and that's just that's just what I can tolerate and what I control. I want all eyes on me. I want to be able to connect to connect with that person in a very intimate way without distraction, right, without right. You know, whatever you whatever floats your boat. Do you? It's do fine. Yeah. yeah, do your yeah. thing, but. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> people can really be monogamous then i do mm -hmm. i was monogamous i said monogamous <laughs> <laughs> i can't even say a word <laughs> don't judge me i have the the 
the ability to be monogamous. I feel like when you're really in tune with that person and you, you just got to be honest with yourself. Like, where you are in life, if you want to be a hoe in these streets, it's fine. Yeah, do that. Just be don't, honest. Yeah, like, yeah, listen, yeah. I'm not ready for a relationship. I don't want this. I I just want you in this way or whatever. And that's cool. And you give that person the power to make the decision as to if they want to stay or not. Right. You don't okay. take that away from me. We don't yeah. take that away from you. Whereas if you're pretending like, oh, yeah, you know, you know we just go with flow. And like, no, you a hoe. And you really <laughs> want to do it. And yeah. that's cool. But... Yeah, I, I'm all about connection. I, I desire marriage. I desire to have my own family. So polygamy, when you're really locked in with somebody and you really are feeling like everybody, like, you guys are so beautiful. <laughs> oh, thank you. Um, <laughs> I can't. <laughs> you, just, you just, it's not hard to be, you know, um, faithful to that person. It's weird being in your 30s, man. Like, it's like love is, like, there's some things that your parents did not explain to you because it's it's a whole, it's just real weird. Like, people are hooking up. We are such a hookup culture. But as far as, like, having longevity and really, like, understanding and knowing what you're doing, like, nah. I think we dropped the ball there, too, um, back in the day because a lot of black families is like keep it in house keep it in house they don't like to explain things right. they don't like to talk about stuff exactly. like grandpa cheated on you 17 years ago but we yeah. never knew you know never what i'm saying like knew. how did you get past that how did you like how did you guys what grow you yeah use? what did yeah. you use they didn't they, they didn't discuss any of that and so, it's so, the ball important. Was dropped. so that you know for generations to come we we leave that we're, we're breaking generational curses. We're able to yes. have long-lasting, flourishing relationships and marriages and stuff like that. But we, like you said, like a lot of our family stuff is kept under wraps and nobody's mm -hmm. teaching us like how to have that that relationship. We got to go through our own situations and our own trials through yeah. life. Right. But if you have heard something or if you have seen it happen before, at least you'll be like, okay, well, I ain't going to take that path. Right. I'm going to try, I'm gonna right. try I'm gonna a different way. Different. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Well, I just really want to thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. And we got a gift, have a gift for you. From you. Yeah. It's from one of our sponsors, yeah. Avant Black. Avant Black. Black. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to our sponsor, Avant, Avant Black. Black. Y'all know yes. what it is. Yeah. So sweet. Thank you. Yeah. I like, I like oh, wow. clothes. You are yeah, welcome. You're welcome. So um, I know you gave me your handles and everything, but where can where can they find you? Ooh, okay. Um, so on Instagram, you can find me. Um, what is my name? I am Kimology. <laughs> on Facebook, I'm under Kim Newsome. I do have a Kimology page. Snapchat is sincerely Kimbo. Um, YouTube, it's under Kimology. You guys can definitely check out Good Intentions. It's there. And yes, check out Good it. Intentions, please. Yeah. It's very good. Like, oh. The silent movie aspect of it was dope like that was Thank my favorite you. part was that it was silent like it was left up to interpretation absolutely but you could definitely feel everything yeah. that the characters mm -hmm. were dealing and going through that it was amazing yeah yes it was definitely amazing thanks guys <laughs> Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in to my episode of On the Couch. I had so much fun with you guys. It was so amazing. <laughs> you can definitely follow me on YouTube under Kimology. Um, you can find me on Facebook under Kim Newsome. And also I have a page on Facebook called Kimology. And you can find me on SoundCloud under Kimology. Spotify <laughs> under Kimology. <laughs> and iTunes under Kimology to check out my podcast. I had just an amazing time with you guys thank you um, so much for having me of course thank you and guys don't forget to like subscribe and share also turn on your post notifications and please don't forget to comment and if you did miss last week's episode then click here to watch it yes. <laughs>